Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee are very unique because for the first time, fully evolved Pokemon like Charizard and Dragonite as well as very rare previously at one time only gift Pokemon are available to be caught in the wild. These are called rare spawns and don't spawn frequently like the typical Pokemon you find on each route in normal circumstances. However, once you perform a catch combo of 31, they spawn very, very frequently. This video is going to go over every Pokemon you can encounter as a rare spawn and how to go about doing it. So. Let's begin. As I've said, you're going to want to have a catch combo of 31. This is going to make the rarest Pokemon spawn incredibly commonly. Once you have a catch combo of 31, you are free to leave the route you are on and look around the Kanto region for the rare Pokemon you want. For example, I started a Growlithe catch combo on Route 6, went to Route 7 to continue the catch combo, and ended up with a catch combo of 176, and then left the route to explore every route in the game to show you the different spawns. I suggest if you want any of the Pokemon in this video, simply, I don't know, maybe catch combo 31 Caterpie in Viridian Forest and then go to the route that's home to the Pokemon in this video that you want. What rare Pokemon can spawn more frequently on a 31 catch combo and where can you find them? Let's show you. Bulbasaur is the earliest rare spawn Pokemon that you're going to be able to capture, being able to be caught right at the beginning of the game in Viridian Forest. It is quite easy to capture as well, I highly recommend you catching one for your team. Just past Pewter City on Route 3 is where you are going to be able to first encounter Charmander. Charmander is also available on Route 3 as well as the Rock Tunnel. If you want to wait until the Rock Tunnel to be able to capture one that's maybe just a little bit of a higher level, then maybe do that. But if you want to use one on your team throughout the entire course of the game, catch one on Route 3. The final of the three starter Pokemon Squirtle is available to be caught very early on in the game as well, just on Route 24 or Route 25, just above Cerulean City, so you're able to catch it before you take on Misty. If you want to wait until the Seafoam Islands to be able to capture one that's around level 40, so you can evolve it right away, maybe wait for that, as they are also found on the Seafoam Island. What's incredibly, incredibly interesting is that both Hitmonlee and Hitmonchan are able to be caught in Victory Road. If you're unhappy with the Pokemon that you took from the Fighting Dojo in Saffron City, you are able to capture both of these no matter which of the choice you made. Both of these are going to be found in your game even if you haven't received a Pokemon from the Fighting Dojo, which is quite fantastic. One of the more common of the quote-unquote rare spawns is Chansey. Chansey can be found in numerous places, though the earliest place you you are going to be able to find it is going to be in Mount Moon before you're even able to find Squirtle. Chansey can be found on route 5, 6, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 21, 23, Diglett's Cave, Mount Moon, the Pokemon Tower, Power Plant, Pokemon Mansion and Victory Road. That was redundant, I'm sorry. Next up, you are going to be able to find Lapras on Route 19 and Route 20. Of course, you are given a Lapras from an employee in the Sylph Co. after saving the company from Team Rocket. But if you want to potentially maybe shiny hunt Lapras, Lapras is going to be found very commonly on Route 19 and Route 20. Just like Lapras, Porygon is a Pokemon that is gifted to you after saving the Sylph Co. But if you want to potentially shiny hunt Porygon, Porygon can only be found on Route 7. Snorlax is next. Snorlax is typically a timed static encounter and you are able to find two within the game's normal circumstances on Route 12 as well as Route 16. If you fail to capture it both times on them routes, don't worry, you're able to find Snorlax in Cerulean Cave in the post game of these games. Finally, there are two Pokemon that count as rare spawns flying above the skies of the Kanto region after you've completed the Pokemon League and the main story of the game, you are going to need a Pokemon such as Charizard, Dragonite, or Aerodactyl to be able to access the skies of Kanto. Now, obviously, Aerodactyl is the easiest to obtain out of these three, as you are given an old amber in Pewter City, which you can then revive at Cinnabar Island, so I'd recommend using Aerodactyl to fly above the skies of Kanto. 
The first one we'll discuss is Charizard, found in pretty much every single route in this game, bar Route 5, Route 9, and Route 20. And finally, in this video, is Dragonite. I believe this is the first time that Dragonite has ever been able to be caught in a Pokemon game, which is incredibly, incredibly cool. Please note, Dragonite and Charizard's levels can range between level 3 and level 57. You can have a level 3 Dragonite or a level 3 Charizard, which is just insane. I really, really hope you found this video useful. A like would be really, really appreciated. Subscribe to listen to more of my future Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu, Let's Go EV videos. I'm going to be covering everything about these games over the coming days. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.